Hey guys, how you doing? My name is Victor James and this is my course on how to use backing tracks with Ableton Live. Pretty much most of the big bands you see today, you know, the Lady Gaga's, the Katy Perry's, country western bands, most of the hip hop bands, the reason they have that huge sound and they sound perfect is because they're playing with backing tracks. So this course is going to take you step by step from setup from what you need as far as computers and what you don't need as far as computers uh, to sound cards, uh, which sound cards to use, which sound cards are better for you. Maybe you need a sound card with multiple outs or maybe you just need a smaller sound card with four outs. It's going to take you through sound card setup, how to, uh, if you're just using a four out one, how to get the click to your drummer. If you're using multiple outs, how to get each individual track out to the sound guy so he can mix it. Or maybe you're running wirelessly and your uh, sound engineer can just mix it from an iPad, uh, which we're going to show you how to do that too as well. We're going to show you how to mix each song in your set so it stays that way. So actually when you call it the set next time, it's already set and ready to go. So you'll do is you'll be able to practice your band, mix the backing tracks the way you like it, save your set, and then each time you open it, that's how that mix is going to be. Now you can always go back and tweak it. We're also going to show you how to set up MIDI controllers so you can trigger each song via pad or uh, maybe a key. Uh, you can start and stop from your controller, however you want. It basically, you can map this whole thing out and set it up for your live purpose needs. Or maybe you don't want to use a MIDI controller, you want to use a foot switch. We're going to show you how to map a foot switch. Now this is a Line 6 FBV uh, with USB. And you can use this. It's basically a MIDI controller. So this is what I use um, live. You can use any MIDI controller you like, but um, you can pick these things off of offer up for like 50 bucks. So pretty good little MIDI controller for 50 bucks. We're also going to take you over to performance mode. So you have clip mode, which is that's basically if you're buying tracks from us, they come in clip mode. But we're going to show you how to use performance mode so you can set up your, your whole show. So basically just hit it one time and you can go and you never have to press any buttons again if you don't want or you can have stop points and, and stop from there but in performance mode you can run live video so either maybe you want video in your background or your band or maybe you want to run lyrics uh, in, a, in a monitor in front of the stage and sync them up to the to your set you can actually do that in performance mode we're going to teach you how to do that we're going to show you the correct way to save a set how to collect all and consolidate if you're going to move it to someone else or maybe you want another band member to have the same set so you can practice with it we're going to show you how to export your stems uh, for rehearsal purposes so say if you want to export the stems out of Ableton to give to band members so they can practice along. You can, oh, we're going to show you how to do that. We're going to show you how to warp your songs so that way you can change maybe the pitch or the tempo. Um, certain songs you won't be allowed to change tempo on but you will be allowed to change pitch on and why. And of course troubleshooting. This will go into of course missing files, sound card not linking up, um, all that aspect of what could possibly go wrong and much much more so thank you for checking out my course so let's get started with the first module which is set up and everything you need to get going <laughs> 